Good morning. The topic of today's video is going to be adding a product catalog to your application. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is add the database tables related to those items. So under the exam control panel, let's click on the admin for my SQL. So we're working with the test database right now. And I think it's time to actually use another database. So what I would like to do is take this database and export it, import it under a new name and add some security to this. So I'm going to take my test database here, click on it, click on export. And I can use the quick export, click go. Okay, and you get to see an SQL file generated here. I'll show this in my folder. So I can open this say with sublime text. So there you go. Here's the database export with records and tables. Okay, great. Back to PHP my admin. I will now go to the SQL for the server and I can drop the database test if I wish. The whole database disappears. Okay, let's make a new database. I will call this shopping. And for my for my collation, I could just stick with the default collation and that would be okay. Create. Now I could create tables or everything like that, but I'll start by actually importing the last export. To import, since you are now in a database, you can choose the file which you just exported. And click go. Now the shopping database has the item and user tables. That's good. Let's choose the privileges. And we would like to add another account. So username, let's just say shopping user from which host. I can just force it so that the user can log in only from local host. And now I can generate a password and use this password. So I will modify the username and password and database name in my model base class under the core model PHP. I'm still going to log on to localhost, but now I'm going to have a password, shopping user, and the database is shopping. Good. So my application should still have access to this database as long as I save this new user. So I will grant privileges on the database shopping. That's okay. For global privileges, I should not select any. So I'll click go. And now I have database specific privileges to address. This shopping user should not be able to modify the database. It should only be able to perform CRUD operations. So I can remove structure operations and administrative operations. 
Drück Go. Okay. Let's look at the privileges for shopping. So I have shopping user that has database specific access. Let's try to log into our application. And we see that we're back and we can now create items. edit and delete. So we're back where we were, but now we actually have a password protected access to our database. Let's modify the database shopping to have a product catalog. The name of the table is going to be product. I will have a product ID, which will be automatically incremented. A name, which I can make slightly short. description, which I can make longer, a price, So this will be sufficient for now. Now what I wish to do is I wish to add the model for this product table. 